Watch to the end to find out my favorite thing to do in Schaumburg, Illinois. All right, here's eight things to do in Schaumburg. Now, this isn't the city of Chicago, so there's not as many options, but for a suburb, there's quite a bit to do. First, shop. Obviously, everybody knows Woodfield, but it's not just Woodfield. There are stores all over. You've got Costco, Ikea, uh, Whole Foods, tons of grocery stores. The options are limitless. Now, I personally don't go to Woodfield a lot because I don't like the crowded atmosphere, but a lot of people do, and you have the Apple Store there, which is great. So number one is shop. Second thing, dining out. People come from all over to dine out in Schaumburg. You have all the major steakhouses, Capitol Grill, Chicago Prime, Wildfire, and a whole bunch of mom and pop places as well. There's excellent Asian food, Polish restaurants, Indian food, Greek, Italian, you've got it all. Next, get out and hike, number three. Spring Valley Nature Center is a great place to go. It's family friendly. You can't bring your dog, but that's okay. You got Bussy Woods right on one end of Schaumburg and you got Poplar Creek on the other. Both dog friendly and both offering miles and miles of hiking and biking. So even though you're in a concrete jungle like Schaumburg, you still got nature all over the place. Fourth thing, Woodfield Mall has a comedy club and it draws pretty big acts from all over the United States. Comedy Club has become very popular, uh, especially when they draw bigger acts. So that's a pretty cool thing to have here in town. You can go get dinner, see a show, go out and have a few drinks afterwards. Pretty fun thing to do. Next, number five, nightlife. There's a lot of bars and clubs all over town. If you're just looking to go out with friends, there are many and many options. I suggest going to Yelp or just search on Google. Um, now that I'm a little older, I don't hit the nightlife as much as I used to but if I need to go meet buddies out, there are many different options. Number six, the Boomers. Schaumburg has its own minor league team. Actually, I don't know if it's a minor league, uh, a professional team, let's just say that. And the stadium's kind of a mini replica of Wrigley Field. There's fireworks, there's uh, kids activities, they have great food and drink, and the great thing is the tickets are cheap. Number seven, Medieval Times. Now, I actually didn't look close to see if it's technically in Hoffman Estates, but it's right on 90 in Roselle. And uh, if you have kids, kids love it. Um, personally, me and my wife probably wouldn't pick this to go for a date night, but I know many people do. Uh, the kids love it. We've brought our kids there many times throughout the years. Uh, cool entertainment, it's always a lot of fun. I check it out. People come from all over. It's a very popular uh, destination for tourists and people that live around here. Number eight, the Schomburg Dog Park. My dog loves it. Uh, we go there and just hang out for an hour, a couple times a week. The yearly rates are very reasonable. Uh, the dogs love it. It's a huge park. There's a lake the dogs can swim in and uh, I'm finding myself going there more and more and I walk around to get some exercise. The dog gets to run around and tire out for the day and uh, a lot of nice people there, all dog lovers. So my favorite thing to do, golf. Schaumburg just got top golf in town, it just opened, and uh, I heard it's doing really well. The village of Schaumburg also has its own golf course, a 27 hole course on Roselle and south of Higgins. It's a beautiful course, they just redid a bunch of the holes, and uh, it's pretty challenging. And um, great thing is you can just play nine, or you can play 18 because it's divided up so the pace of play is really good. And for a municipal golf course, it is really nice. It's one of the nicer ones I think in the suburbs. Also, there's a nine hole course, Walnut Greens, which is on the west side of town. Uh, it's a fun place to bring your kids to learn how to golf. Or if you're just looking to go out and work on your short game, it's actually really challenging. I've lost more balls there than probably the real golf course. So that's it. That was nine things to do in Schaumburg. There's some cheap things to do. There's other things you're gonna spend a little bit more money. As far as all the Northwest suburbs, I think there's more to do in Schaumburg than all the other towns. So if you want to avoid driving down to the city or heading down to Naperville, come out to Schaumburg. If you live in Schaumburg or you're looking to move to Schaumburg, check out all my information below. That's it. Take care.